over the last 13 years, what Method has really demonstrated is that sustainable innovation is really possible through a, a different approach to product design, where the sustainability of the product is just built into the quality of the product. It's not necessarily its marketing positioning, there's no leaf, there's no planet on the bottom, uh, but it's built into the, into the design of the product itself. Hi, we're here with Adam Lowry of Method, and if you don't know what that is, you might have seen it at Target. It's the cleaning products that are for your laundry, your household cleaning, even your body wash and uh, hand soap. And so you did a fantastic presentation yesterday. It was really great. And in that presentation, you mentioned that you have kind of merged with uh, another company, Ecover. And how, how does that work now that you are both merged? Well, it's still two brands under one company with the same owner. And what we're doing is we're pioneering an approach, a uh, new way of doing business where we're going to bring radical innovation to both of these brands um, and address the market with a, a two-branded approach, both in North America as well as in Europe. Great. And I have both of them in my laundry room, actually. I use yeah, the products. Well, you look pretty young to be a chemical engineer. And what, what got you into that kind of area in the first place? Uh, well, I'm a chemical engineer by education, and that's what my degree is in, but my passion is really environmental science, and what I really try to do is, in, is apply that education in a way that's really practical to create positive change in the world. So I started Method because I believe that business can create positive social and environmental change in the world, but it requires redesigning business around fundamental principles of environmental science, and being a chem chemical engineer was also handy in the early days when we were mixing lotions and potions in our bathroom and selling it door to door. Door to door, and then how did you end up at Target? That's an interesting story. I mean, when we first went to Target, they didn't particularly like it through the vision of a number of people at that organization that they really saw the opportunity for the Method brand at Target stores. And we built that from a test case to a national distribution, and of course have built out our distribution um, in many other customers um, nationwide as well, you know, Whole Foods and Safeway. And all though targeted at trying to serve a certain consumer that is more concerned about her lifestyle, more concerned about her sustainability, more concerned about the pleasure with which she lives life. That's so great. I, I discovered it at Target for the first time. Do you think it's the design of the bottle or the colors. I'm a color girl, as you can see, and I think you are yeah, a, a color guy. Today, yeah. Do you think that made a difference in it being successful? Absolutely. Shape, color, and transparency are key hallmarks of the Method brand. And there are things that attract people, that and the beautiful fragrances that are a part of our, our product line. And those things taken alone could be seen as shallow or just visceral, but the, those visceral things create a connection and a, and a desirability about the product that when backed up with a very deep green product design creates a very compelling uh, product story. And I think that's why we've been successful. I think that we've been able to transcend the typical quote unquote green consumer because we have a lot of people that buy our products because they love the fragrance or because it's purple, <laughs> not because they want to save the world. And I actually think that that's fantastic. It's actually the reason that I started the company in the first place. I, I think it's kind of pointless to sell green products to green people. I think that you've we've got to get everyone involved in the green movement and recognize that not everybody is going to want to wear the green movement on their sleeve the way that you may or I, I, I might. That is really a good message and that's kind of what I do. I want to kind of get a, a new audience that is interested in it for another reason and then maybe it expands from there. That's probably what sets you apart from some of the other products that are out there. I mean there's a lot of green products out there now. I think that most green products have not been really well designed. What we've done is take a fresh perspective to say, you know what, we need to build sustainability just as an aspect of the quality of these products. Our brand is uh, slightly premium to the cheapest stuff you can buy, but the value proposition is there because you've got a product that not only looks beautiful on your countertop, fragrances your home as you go, has the deepest principles of sustainability built into the quality of the product. And so that sort of subtle nuance between sustainability as quality versus sustainability as a marketing positioning, I think is one of the things that's really different about us. Um, and I think it's one of the reasons why we've attracted a much broader audience.
So important what you do. Thank you. I did notice a tweet that you had out about tri triclosan. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. So triclosan. triclosan. Yeah. So I know that's bad. And why is it bad? And why is it in all of our antibacterial hand soaps? Well, triclosan it's, is an antibacterial thing that kills bugs. It's not a very nice material from uh, a number of aspects, from an environmental aspect, from a human health impact, uh, like toxicity standpoint. And what's worse is it actually it has been shown that it doesn't actually make you any healthier. So just washing your hands with good old soap and water, I'd prefer you use method, but even <laughs> if you don't, um, <clears throat> there's no need to use a toxic chemical on your hands to keep you healthy. And this has been validated by uh, the best research institutions around. It's companies saying, how do we create a market? Well, if you scare people into thinking that there's germs on their hands and that they're gonna get sick from it, and then you sell them the solution, you know, it, it's good marketing, but it's not particularly good for the world in our opinion, so. I agree. I am anti-antibacterial for sure. Yeah. I definitely soap and water. And I think about the moms out there who use that antibacterial on their kids' hands and then their kids are eating their food with their hands and ingesting it. So scary. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Thank you for everything you do. And I look forward to what's on the horizon for Method and Ecover. There will be big stuff, so keep an eye out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching Green with Tiffany. A business that's committed to sustainability is a business that's committed to change. Because what you must be able to do in order to be committed to sustainability as a business is you have to take what makes you money today and throw it out the window and replace it with something that's far greener, far better, but a lot lesser. And it's what we believe is what will allow business to lead us towards a more sustainable and Thank you very much.